heroes who are living their lives and assume that nothing exciting will ever happen to them. Those are the kind of heroes in this story. They started as just a bunch of friends in a treehouse, looking up to their idols who had come before them. But when disaster struck and an evil monstrosity threatened to destroy the world, those friends discovered that heroes can come from the most humble of beginnings. They traveled the world to battle that monster, facing obstacles and sacrifices every step of the way. It wasn't easy, but they had each other. And working together, they struck it down and saved everyone. Soon, they were the most famous people in the whole world. And their legend, their fame, just continued to grow as they explored more worlds, venturing into the great unknown. And that's how those five friends, plus the bravest pig in the world, took their place in history as some of the greatest heroes who ever lived. Oh, oh uh-huh. What part are we at? Am I being awesome? We thought it was great, Lucas. Although, not There's always nothing technically nothing accurate. Yeah, I mean, well... I definitely exaggerated here and there, but it was for the drama. I mean, it made us sound cool, and that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, but it might make people think we did stuff we didn't actually do. So? I don't know, Lucas. If there's one thing our adventures taught me, it's better to just be truthful. Let history speak for itself. These voices I guess I can pull back on some of the, uh, the exaggerations. Yeah, like the part with the magic chicken? Talk about implausible. Uh, that actually happened. Oh, right. I had been hoping to have it ready to read at Founding Day, but, uh, next year. I can't believe it's Founding Day already. It sneaks up on me every time. Congrats, buddy. I'm proud of you for finishing it. That took a lot of work. I'm glad you liked it. You did so much, Jesse. You're a real hero. But we all did, right? Yeah. We were all there. For, uh, most of it, anyway. That's true. Um... Hey, come on, guys. We all did it together. We're the Order of the Stone, after all. It is a good note, though. I'll keep that in mind when I'm editing. Well, this has all been really helpful feedback, guys. Once Ivor and Harper get back from their adventures, I can add a chapter about them, and then it will finally be done. Man, they've been gone a long time. Jesse, your intern. Jesse? Oh. Hey, Radar. Oh, gosh, wow. I didn't know all of you would be in here. <laughs> Olivia, ma'am, Axel, sir, you, Lucas, sir. So sorry to interrupt everyone. Oh, he is just adorable. My deepest, sincerest, utmost apologies if I've caused any inconvenience. Radar, don't be so formal. Cut it out with all the sir and ma'am stuff. Righto, right. Awesome. I kind of liked it. So, what's up? I got a message from Petra that she's on her way to the mines. For that adventure you scheduled, if you hurry, you should still have time for that and your founding day duties. Ooh, nice. We should get going. Yeah. Any costumes. Uh, about that. We've actually got our own Founding Day stuff we need to prep for? Yeah, I need to get back to Boomtown. I'm judging a TNT rally in the morning. And I need to finish grading some Redstone assignments. Uh, that's okay. I get it. You have your life, and so do I. Oh, thanks, Jesse. Yeah, thanks. Petra will never let you hear the end of it, though. Tell Petra <coughs> I said next time for sure, okay? I can't wait to see how that sword of hers is coming along. Yeah, I'll tell her. <clears throat> I can't believe I'm walking out of the Order Hall with the Order. <laughs> oh, so freaking cute. Let me just pause it right here. So, you know, in the last episode of Minecraft Story Mode, I said, um, if there was a season two, I'd play it. But I haven't bought it yet. This is just a demo, so it's just a little tiny sneak peek of what's uh, been going on. Um, 
and as you see I kind of missed out on some of the intro so um, don't worry about that uh, this demo is free and um, yeah let's get back into it so the other towns have found it. oh and the music and voices have kind of changed Olivia's voice has changed kind of sounds like Jessie's um, I didn't get to choose the character or anything so work with me here day celebrations huh of course we were all part of taking down the Witherstorm. Redstonia even hosts a whole dance in Eligard's honor. Yeah, it's mostly TNT and fireworks in Boomtown. Magnus let me help design the firework finale this year. Well, I promise I will try and stop by. It was awesome to catch up with you guys. Totally. Yeah, this has been great. See you, Jesse. I am going to see you all again. Same time next week. Thanks again, guys. I'll let you know as soon as I'm done with the revisions. Oh, cool. Can't wait. Axel. I tell ya, I am just the luckiest. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Getting to work with you, hanging out with the Order, and living in the coolest town in the whole world. Beacon Town! Basically, the updated version of the last So there's birds, the trident, the turtle shell, um, temples, fish, um, llamas, and all the other stuff there. Oh, I just saw, um, what's his name? I was Cowl's Some days you'd rather be out adventuring with your friends, but I'm really glad you're our leader. You just make this place awesome. Yeah, but being out there adventuring, that's good too. I mean, I guess. I've never really been the adventuring type myself. Too, uh, too dangerous. I know that Petra is waiting for you in the mines, but I bet people would really appreciate you helping set up for the celebration. I'll keep that in mind. Cheeky. I bet one of those would look awesome on the Order Hall's front lawn. Hmm. Huh. I like the music. Jesse, dude! No! I thought you were out seeing the world. Did that? Righteous times. Thought I'd try settling down for a while, though? Like, I love danger and daring do as much as the next person, but sometimes you just want to have a place to store your junk, okay? Well, I'm so glad you're here. Man, that is just the sort of warm welcome I had hoped. You rock, Jesse, dude. Between you and me, I am worried that I won't, like, fit in here. So many rad builds, awesome people. I really want to make, like, a good first impression, you know? Which I thought might be helped if my front yard had a statue by the one and only Jesse. Not sure if I have time, but I'll see what I can do. Hey, hey, hey! This is going to be so cool! Scoop up that clay over there and let's get to business! A blank canvas. Oh no. Oh god no. Oh don't do this to me. Oh for god's sake. Um oh. <laughs> oh, what should I do? What should I build? What should I build? Sorry. 
Let's. She's a beach person. Personally, I suck at building. No! with me here this is kind of like eh, oh. as high as I can get. Great to know that. <laughs> That is some sweet work. Nice. 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 Oh, Jesse, <laughs> dude, nice. thanks. It was my pleasure. Well, it is an honor, <clears throat> me amigo. And don't be a stranger, okay? And nice. Like, she is a fascinating woman, isn't she? Very free spirited. Huh, yeah. Kind of reminds me of Petra back in her early days. Speaking of whom, you said she's waiting for me at the mine shaft. Mm hmm. Nice. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, wait, Whoa. get back here. Leave Jesse alone. Hello there, <laughs> Jesse. I was wondering when we'd run into each other. Thought we'd give this town of yours a try. <laughs> it's quite lovely. 
Yeah, and I can't believe how many people are here. What are you guys doing here, though? Um, the thrill of adventure, I guess. And the stories of this place sounded awesome. Radar, this is Stacy Plays and Stampy Cat. Oh, Wink. Here, Jesse, give him a bone and he'll calm right down. He likes you. Huh, yeah. You want the rest of these back? Nah, hang on to them. I've got tons. You never know when you're going to need to tame a wolf. Well, thanks. I imagine you're terribly busy, so we won't keep you. But you should come and see what we're working on, because it's pretty cool. Yeah, what Stampy said. Anyway, our place is by the gate. Will do. See you guys later. Alright, let me just have a look around. Were the days simpler times? <laughs> Alright, let's head back. Oh, God, that's creepy. Octopus. You craving seafood? Always. Why? <laughs> Guess I can't go anywhere except for here. Not to pat myself on the back too hard, but there is a statue. This was a recreation of your first big build, way back before the Wither Storm, before all that stuff. Is it true? You have got to tell me more about it. I can barely even picture it. I have devoured everything Lucas has written about you guys in those days. Huh, <sighs> alright. I love talking about the good old days. Yes! I'm just so curious. Where does your inspiration come from? Was there a deeper meaning? Oh, or like, a critique of the world, maybe? It was like anything else in life. I wanted to win, so I had to build the best thing those judges had ever seen. Oh, I thought maybe there'd be more to it than that, but, um, guess not. The build I really wish I got to see was what you built to take down the Wither Storm. Now that must have been terrifying. The world coming apart at the seams? Tentacles everywhere? Yeah, we were all really scared. For a while there, it looked like the Wither Storm might win. Well, speaking on behalf of the world, I am really glad you were there to stop it. Oh, you are just the best! Oh, and thank you so much for taking the time to stop and talk to me. Not a problem. I'll see you around, all right? How does that look? All right. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. Best pig that ever lived. Miss you, buddy. Oh, man. I wish I could have met Reuben. He sounded amazing. I read Lucas's book the other day. That chapter about Reuben almost got me crying right there. He was a hero. Saved everybody. He'd be really excited about how great Beacon Town is now. I bet that's totally true. Oh my gosh, it's you! Oh yeah, it's me. What are you doing here? Oh, wow, this is actually perfect. For Founding Day this year, we're picking a pig to play the part of Reuben on the float. Oh, that's really cute. Right? Yes. Uh, would you be interested in maybe helping me pick? 
I mean, who knows Ruben better than Jesse, right? Yeah. Talk about knowledgeable casting. I would love to. Seems like the least I could do. Oh, that's fantastic. Thank you so much. All right. Let's see him. Okay, piggies. Show Jesse your good side. That's Esteban. Smushy cute cheeks. And Lord Von Thunderpork the Sixth. <laughs> tried my best to bring the pigs that felt the most Ruben-esque. Hmm? They're all adorable. Raised all of them myself. Lord Von Thunderpork the Sixth. My vote is for Lord Von Thunderpork the Sixth. No question. Look at that regal little guy. Really? Ah, I knew that's who you'd choose. Fantastic. Congratulations. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesse. I'm going to get him ready, and I'll see you at the celebration. Bye! That's cool. It makes me happy to see so many plants growing in Beacon Town. Yeah, it's pretty great, huh? Sugar. Nice. Okay. Oh, finally. What is this for? Not to rush you, but, uh, should we, um, well, uh, go, maybe? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Again? Oh. I'll do it again. Crafting table, what can I make? Hello, Jesse. Hello. It needs to be pumpkin pie. But cake is the best, and I would know. I have it every morning for breakfast. There's some sort of problem here, guys? Hello, Jesse. We heard about this founding day celebration of yours, and we thought we'd make some sweets. Yeah, and now I'm trying to convince Mr. Stampy here to make the right decision and pick pumpkin pie. There you go with those leading presentations again. Just, not everyone likes cake, Stampy. But why don't we have both? Oh, that's a wonderful idea, but we don't have enough ingredients. It's true. Here, you should just take the ingredients and decide oh, for God. us. Yes, I feel we're going to be debating in circles all day otherwise. <laughs> you know, there might be some extra eggs and stuff around town. I bet you could find enough oh, to do I cake and pie. Hmm, don't have a ton of time, but I bet they'd be super surprised by that. Me settle Stampy and Stacy's little disagreement. Excuse me, uh, ma'am? Thank you. They 
same way, just stole an unborn child. <laughs> it's perfectly fine. Huh. What a lovely garden. <laughs> nice. Alright, this is the last thing I'm doing and then I'm getting back to my objective. Have I got enough stuff? So I need pumpkin, sugar, and an egg. I've got pumpkin, sugar, and an egg. I need three milk, two sugar, an egg, and three wheat. Yeah, I can make this. Okay. Um, Sugar. Egg. Pumpkin. No. Other way around. Yes. He said cake, she said pie. I said, why don't we have oh. both? Oh, well, this is very surprising. Yeah, that's awesome. How did you do that? Found some extra ingredients around town. No big deal. Nice. Well, that's fantastic, Jesse. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks. This is perfect. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> cake and pie, cake and pie, cake and pie, cake and pie. Cake and pie. <laughs> Look, I gotta run. Petra's waiting. I'll talk to you guys later, okay? Bye! I'm using mean Jesse's cuties. No, I'm not talking to anybody else. Jesse! Over here! Nice. Thanks for walking with me. Oh no, thank you, Jesse. It was a pleasure watching you work. It truly was. Stopping to help all those people, helping them prepare for founding day. Very inspiring. I'll uh, keep watch on things here while you're gone. Off doing your adventure things. Risking your life, spitting in fate's eye. Just stop worrying so much, would ya? Stop... stop worrying. I can do that. It's so simple. Just... stop worrying. Am I oversimplifying it? I'll... I'll work on it. Bye! Have a good time! Don't I always? Petra? Huh. I swear she said to meet right here. Petra! Where are you? Ah! <sighs> Stupid zombie. <sighs> I missed this. <coughs> no, not so much. Well, your 
late, but at least you still remember how to fight. Oh, hey. Hey, I was worried you'd gotten rusty. I can't even imagine that life. Managing people, signing papers, ugh. Yeah, I guess it has been a while since I've done this. Well, that's obvious. You're not even wearing a good suit of armor. I didn't want to dent the good stuff. So what? And look who's talking with an iron sword. Where's your fancy gold one with all the enchantments? Can't remember the last time I saw you without it. I, uh... Look alive. These deadheads should help you dust off those cobwebs. <laughs> Too slow, zombies. Typical. Lost my step yet? Well, you sure showed me. Glad you finally made it. Sometimes I worry you don't even have time for me, your friends anymore. I mean, I get that you like your job and everything, but jeez. Hey, I'm here now, aren't I? I'll always make time for you. Yeah, I guess. But now that you mention it. Can't help but notice that we're missing one, two, three... Axel has boomtown duties. Olivia's grading something or other in Redstonia, and Lucas... Is writing. I figured. Man, our friends have gotten lame. I swear, if our old fans saw what we're doing now, I'm just saying, I don't care how good Lucas's next book is, it's not exactly slaying a wither storm, you know? Hey, don't get bummed. Even without them, we're having fun, right? Yeah, that's a good point. At least we've got the cool people here. We'll worry about them later, I guess. We gotta hurry. What exactly are we looking for down here? I'll tell you when we find it. Just trust me, it's important. What was that? Come on, let's race! Wait, what? It's monster hunting time! What's up? Good to see ya. <laughs> Ooh, perfect. Hey, I was gonna eat that. Obviously. Everyone get down! It's gonna blow! Woo! <laughs> <sighs> All right, where'd you go? Where'd what go? Ha! Ah, look down there! So, you're really not gonna tell me what we're chasing? Nope. The mystery is what makes it fun! Come on! Jeez, more of 
are these guys? <sighs> My turn to save you, Petra. Still felt awesome getting back out there. Yeah, couldn't agree more. Okay, this mystery better live up to all the hype. Here I come, mystery monster. A llama? Awesome! We found it! Oh, your owner is gonna be so happy to see you. Wait, let me get this straight. This quest was just to track down a stupid llama? <coughs> it's not just a stupid llama. It's, uh, it's important, okay? It's apparently like a uh, treasure-sniffing llama, or, uh, it's important, okay? Please, just trust me. We just need to bring her back to her owner. It doesn't need to be like a thing. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. If you say it's important, then I trust you. Yeah? Yeah. Now, how about we get you out of here, huh? Come here, Llama. <laughs> That's what you get for wearing that dork armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll have to craft a new set. Dang. Let's get this thing. Don't let it get away. Just grab the... Ow! Uh-oh. Oh. Ugh, gross. Come on. Let's get after that armor-wrecking thing. Uh, hang on, it's super dark down there. We should make a torch. <coughs> I got nothing. the mayor I'm the leader and hero in residence I know I know it's just that you do a lot of paperwork and dun, dun, dun. How the heck did you get up there who knows but it's coming down now
終わった。Whisper. Uh, I didn't hear anything. I'm the seer of souls. You see, yes, I see. Be reasonable. Whoa, girl. What is it? Some sort of glove. Or a gauntlet? Looks like it's made out of prismarine. A prismarine? But you only find that at the bottom of the ocean. Uh oh. That's bad. Oh, Whoa. Ah! How did. Where. What. Is this. Thing? Seems like it's not hurting you, and that's good. <laughs> that's good. It looks kind of okay. Get actually, out it looks really cool, uh, w which I know might not be what you want to hear right now. Maybe it has, I don't know, like powers, powers or something. Oh, if it does, it's too bad it didn't come with an instruction manual. <laughs> well, uh, here, I'll help you take it off. <laughs> I belong to Jesse. Okay. Ow. Wow. Stop. That thing is really stuck. I just can't shake this feeling that maybe you were meant to find that gauntlet. Like, maybe it was your destiny or something. Man, what are the odds? Command blocks? Portal keys? Why is it always me? I don't know. But there's definitely a pattern. Uh-oh. Get off the pyramid, quick! Yeet. <laughs> oh, come on! Let's get you up out of there! Don't want to know what's down there. Okay, now what the heck is that thing? It's like a huge mouth in the ground. Some sort of... Heck mouth? Sure, yeah. Heck mouth. I Heck I don't mouth. think I can see the bottom. Ugh, it gives me the willies. And what's that sound coming from down there? Yep. Wow. That is bottomless. Well, we can't just leave something like this exposed. We should cover it up. Yeah, agreed. Sure, but I'm getting a bad feeling that it's the actual way we're going to fix this. On second thought, let's talk about it anywhere but in here. Not getting out the way we came, though. You could just do. That's uh, something I don't want to do. There! Come on! So close to Beacon Town. Here, 
maybe you could leave a warning or something? Yeah, I'm just scratching something into it. Ooh, mysterious. Okay, then. <clears throat> what do we do about all this? Well, it's all made of prismarine, right? And you only find that in, like, monuments and stuff at the bottom of the ocean. There's a treasure hunter in Beacon Town named Jack. Kind of a legend. He knows everything about prismarine, exploring the ocean. Because we definitely can't have that happening again. That was... That was really bad. That sounds a little weird, Petra. He better not be, like, a weird fish person. Uh, he's definitely not that. Trust me, I've heard a lot of good things about him. And I'll take you to Jack's shop as soon as I'm back. First, I really need to deal with this llama. <laughs> okay, come on, you. <laughs> Gotta get you home. But what about my hand? This thing won't come off. I... Yeah, I, I know, I know, but this llama... Why is that llama so important to you? <sighs> you know my sword, gold one, with all the enchantments? Miss Butter? Yeah, I, I kinda got tricked by this person named Stella. Said she just wanted to put it on display for a little while, and now she won't give it back until I do dumb quests like this for her. It's, uh... Then, not great. Hoping this is the end of it. Wow. Can't believe you're getting pushed around like that. That's kind of... Humiliating? Yeah, I know. So, yeah, her, her name's yeah. Stella, and she's kind of obsessed with treasure. She says this is her treasure-sniffing llama, her... She runs a place called Champion City. Wait, like Champion City right over there? I had no idea their leader was like that. Yeah, she's ambitious. And she's willing to do anything to get her way. Bullying, lying, cheating. Without my sword, I just really need to get it back. Just hope Stella actually gives it back this time. I can smell a bully from a mile away, Petra. And I don't let bullies go. Being smelled on my watch. <laughs> You're one of the good ones, Jesse. Thanks. Come on. <laughs> I can't wait to meet this Stella myself. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Then, freshly rearmed, we'll come back, sort out that heck mouth, and... Get this thing off my hand! Get this thing off my hand! That's amazing. Champion City. Every single one of those apartments up there is exactly the same. Stella is strict about how things look here. She claims the top level are the diamond class apartments, but they're just one block wider. Wow, this is super impressive. Good layout, great colors. If you're into that sort of thing. <laughs> what? Come on. We're almost there. It's like she doesn't want to go see Stella. I kind of know how she feels. I just really need this to go well. And with Stella, well, it doesn't most times. I know that in your head you've got her built up as this big, terrible person. But she can't be that bad. We'll work it out. <laughs> Clearly you haven't met her yet. Anyway, Stella usually has her office hours in the center of the courtyard. Well, I hope she's ready for an appointment with Jesse and Petra. Oh no, it's the worst. Wow, even the flowers are organized. Yeah, 
and see the gardeners working on them? They all owe her stuff, too. Everyone in town owes Stella something. I think that's where she got most of the materials to build Champion City in the first place. Lots of little trades all add up after a while. So why don't they leave, then? Why do they put up with it? Stella keeps some of them under her thumb, like my sword thing. But some think that if they impress her, maybe they'll move up, become a champion. But all their hard work is actually doing is making Stella's city better. Well, your sword is one trade Stella won't be getting out of. I'm gonna make sure of it. Nice day. Everyone, no shoving now. We're not beacon towners. <laughs> You've probably put this together right now, but Stella's pretty fond of herself. I would play to her ego. Ah, oh, well, that is a cute one. And he could be all yours, provided you have the right payment, of course. Oh, she matches your. Oh, come on, you. My darling, you came home. You came back. Uh, Rodrigo, could you bring Luna home, please? There's a good girl. Stella. Oh, look who it is. Jesse, leader of Beacon Town, and my sworn rival. I've never met her before, right? No. Our rivalry, Beacon Town versus Champion City. Surely you think about it as much as I do? Oh boy. Sorry, but you are not a rival. Even my B-list villains are way scarier than you. I do not know what kind of mind games you are trying to bring into our rivalry, but I'll tell you right now, they are not going to work on me. I love the glove, by the way. Absolutely, darling. You wouldn't be interested in trading, would you? Got some fine puppies here. All free range, of course. Just a puppy for this? That's a terrible trade. Rude. I just thought I'd offer. I heard you need a new pet. Okay, hold it. Oh, Petra, you're here too. I almost thought Luna just came back on her own. What do I owe you? A puppy? No, that wasn't... A diamond, maybe? No, I... An emerald. <laughs> Don't push too hard now. Don't make me get tough here, Stella. You know what Petra wants. We're not leaving without that sword. Wait, is this a good... Oh, Petra... Oh, sweetie, no. I was very clear. I make trades for treasures. I think I'm all done here. You said you just wanted to display it. I thought I could still use it. Oh, no, honey, no. <laughs> you wanted to become my champion. You came to me, remember? In exchange, you got to live here instead of Beacon Town. Isn't that nice? Oh, no, was that supposed to be a secret? <laughs> oh, dear. Petra, sweetie. Oh, we are going to talk about this later, Petra. Uh, I know. Well, I think it's about time I go back to my treasure hall, Jesse. By the way, way nicer than yours. Do you two know the way out? Oh, what am I saying? Of course Petra does. If you ever want a place in Champion City, just ask. <laughs> like I said, she's the worst. I 
I'm still upset about this, Petra. You lied to me. I... Yeah, I deserve that. Like you said, let's talk about it later. Right now, I really need to figure out how I'm gonna get my sword back. I just don't know how we're gonna do that. Stella's treasure room is right there. But I've got a bad feeling about those bodyguards of hers. Could probably sneak in through the puppy kennel, but that's a lot of barking puppies. There's got to be a way. Fighter. One guy? Yeah, we'll fight her. We'll roll in, fight the bodyguards, snag the sword, get out again. Piece of cake. I like the sound of that. Oh no. <laughs> So there you got kind of a little snippet of what's going to go on uh, once I buy the entire season. This is menu music. This is nice. And I will eventually get to buy it. Um, yeah, um, anyway, that's going to be it, it for today. And, ooh, play with that. Play with your friends. Feel that in the music. Yeah, so um that's gonna be it and I'll see you guys later. Bye!